going on guys, I'm Mighty back at again with the Weekly Rust Skins videos and today we actually have a pretty decent looking Rust Adam store, so this is what the top sales is looking like, just so you guys can have a reference of what I'm talking about later in the video. Um, but let's have a look at the limited store and we'll get started with the comics, hoodie and pants. Now, as you just saw, they are in the top sellers um, placed at uh, second and third for the top sellers and the pants are actually above the hoodie this time, which I find to be quite interesting. So. Overall, they are $2.85, so above standard store price for clothing and armor. Um, but they actually all are also um, pretty much like white out 2.0, um, which is a plus for the comics stuff that's now coming out. Um, not so much for the white out stuff that's on the community market already. So it is likely that the um, white out hoodie and pants will go down a little bit in um, value and price overall on the community market just because we do have something that is quite similar to it now. Um, overall, I do still think Whiteout will perform better, but I do think that comics will perform all right, just because, of course, um, you know, Whiteout's already more expensive than this, and if people want to pick up Whiteout, they do now have a cheaper alternative, that being the comics pants and the comics hoodie. So overall, I do think they'll both be a profitable um, investment. And I'm not 100% sure why the comics pants are currently selling more than the um, comics hoodie off of the um, Rust Adam store because the Whiteouts pants um, on the community markets actually has a higher quantity than the hoodie, um, that being 312, and they're going to $6.16. And the hoodie on the community market has 242 quantity, um, and it's starting at $7.75. So overall, with the um, comics, uh, pants and hoodie. I'd recommend getting the hoodie over the pants um, because there is more pants on the uh, community market. So overall, I do think the um, demand will be uh, higher for the hoodie than it will for the pants, um, especially if someone wants to try and mit, uh, mix and match the comics with the whiteout. So overall, I'd recommend getting the hoodie over the pants, but I'd recommend picking both of them up. $2.85, so you do have to keep in mind it is above standard store price. You could try and get them um, in the first week with the buy order for a little bit cheaper, um, but that is also something you could be risking potentially. Overall though, I do think the Cummings pants and hoodie can make you money, and so I will recommend investing in them off the rest of them store for this week. All right, I'm moving over to the Wasteland Thompson. We've had the Wasteland SAR and the Wasteland Python, and the uh, SAR is going for $2.94 on the community market with 16 quantity, and the Python is going for $2.36 on the community market with 28 quantity. So overall, not a profitable um, investment. And I do think that is how this set is going to continue with the Wasteland Thompson. So the Thompson will have a higher demand in comparison to the SAR and the Python, in my opinion. Um, but overall, $2.85, you can buy um, subjectively better looking Thompson skins off of the community market. So overall, not going to recommend investing in the Wasteland Tommy off of the Russell store for this week, just because I think it's really gonna have the demand. All right, moving over to the Corrupted Furnace, going for $3.55. This is the first item from the Corrupted set that we've had for quite a while. Here's a continuation of the Corrupted set if you're new to skin investing. Um, and it's actually quite different compared to the other, so usually they're doors and stuff like that. Um, whereas this one's obviously a furnace. I do like the um, design with the extra eye um, being the actual like mouth of the furnace, but I do think it's a bit harder to place and uh, I don't know. I, I like it, I like the idea of it. I just don't really, I don't know, I'm not 100% on it. Um, $3.55 is above certain store price for furnace skins. It is glowing when you have it ignited, um, but there's something about this furnace skin that I'm just not really vibing with like the shape of the skull looks a little odd just because anatomically speaking the right side of the face has like something covering its teeth and I think that's rather peculiar um so overall I do think that is un unfortunately just that that's um covering the teeth but you know it is what it is also I'm a little bit confused I'm pretty sure the rest of the corrupted stuff was red and blue but I don't know maybe we're just mixing it up a little bit here um, overall, the demand, I honestly don't think the demand is going to be high enough to go um, above $3.55 anytime soon. So if you want to try and invest in the Corrupted Furnace, I'd recommend getting it off of the community market. And I honestly do think you'd be able to get it for a little bit cheaper with the community market buy order. Um, so I, that's what I'd recommend to do with the Corrupted Furnace off of the Rustinum store for this week. So overall, not going to recommend investing in the Rustinum store um, Corrupted Furnace skin. Right, moving over to the Desert Stone Sleeping Bag, going for $3.55. This is a skin I would consider pay to win. 
And the thing is, we actually already have a desert camo sleeping bag, that being the desert scout. So I don't think that's like the best thing ever. Um, and I do think that will ever so slightly like that one. I mean, I don't think it's going to have very high demand anyway. Um, the Desert Scout, that is. It's only got 38 quantity on the community market and it's going for $4.61. The Desert Stone Sleeping Bag is going for $3.55 and overall is a decent pay to win skin um, if you are someone that likes a base or play around the Desert Biomes in Rust. So uh, overall, $3.55. I actually do think that this will probably go around $4.50, $4.60, something like that to try and like match the Desert Scout Sleeping Bag. Um, so as a long-term investment, I will recommend getting the Desert Stone Sleeping Bag off of the Rustlingham store, um, but you could also probably try and get it with a buy it off the community market for a little bit cheaper if you want to try and invest in it from there. So overall, I'd recommend getting this one off the Rustlingham store, but to maximize potential profits, you could also try and um, get it for a bit cheaper on the community market, the buy order. Right, moving over to the Tempered Small Wooden Box, going for $3.55. Now, this is obviously a continuation of the Tempered Set. And the Tempered Set has just been extremely successful and it's always going to be a successful skin collection. So um, I actually really like the design with like the extra like metal kind of grey with stuff um, going on. I think it's a lot better and it's just a lot more modern compared to the older Tempered stuff. Um, overall, I will recommend investing in this Tempered small box. From memory, the Tempered box is performing quite well. Um, and it, this is also another glowing deployable, so pay to win. Um, but pretty much everything is these days, so I don't really applies too much these days anymore. It is above sinister store price, going at three dollars and fifty five cents on the Russell Home store. But overall, as a long, I mean, even as like a short to medium term investment, I still do think you can make money off of this. So overall, I recommend investing in the tempered small wooden box off the Russell Home store. Alrighty, moving over to the log door, going for three dollars and fifty cents. This is. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the same creator that made the um, twig door, but this is obviously a wood version of that wood upgrade version. So this is the low end and it's a wooden door skin going for $3.55. Um, what I consider this pay to win, semi pay to win, like it's only really going to trick like new players, but are you going to get rated by a new player? Probably not. It's a cool skin. It's a, st it's a standout skin in my opinion. It's the, the main problem with it, um, Let's just say, even just for example, compared to the previous skin that came out, the twig one, is I don't think it has the peaks, so you can't see through it. Um, I mean, I'm going to be looking at the skin in-game right now anyway, so you'll see if I'm wrong about that. But just looking at the screenshots, it appears that it doesn't have any holes in it, any cutouts. Um, so it's less pay to win than the twig one, so you can't see through it. Um, but not only that, it also doesn't have any glow, so... I know not every skin needs glow, but it is obviously advantageous to have glowing deployables in Rust these days because it makes it a lot easier to navigate um, in your base and even just see your doors and stuff outside of your base So um, at night time. So overall, I mean, I think it's actually a pretty cool skin. I don't really think wooden door skins have a very high demand. And the fact that it's $3.55 on the Rust Home store, which is more expensive than the standard deployable price, um, for those reasons, I'm not going to recommend investing in it. But overall, I do think the log door is actually quite a cool looking skin. Not going to recommend investing in it off the Russell Home store though. And last but not least, we have the Industrial Craft Box. This is actually a pretty cool looking box skin. It kind of reminds me of like the Dwemer bloody stuff for some reason in um, Skyrim, the Elder Scrolls. Um, $3.55 is what this Industrial Craft Box is going for. This is a glowing deployable, so pretty much the sort of price for glowing deployables. Um, overall, quite a nice looking skin, and we don't really have any yellow glowing deployables besides like the, um, some of like the, uh, sorting boxes, like some of them have a little bit of, um, yellow on them, like the sulfur ones and stuff like that usually. So, overall, I do think this is quite a nice looking skin, um, and if this set were to continue, then I do think that you could potentially make some money off of this one, $3.55, so... Uh, I do think you could also probably pick this one up for a little bit cheaper on the community market with a buy order. Overall, really nice looking skin, um, but I'd recommend trying to get this one off the community market with a buy order. Overall, if this set does continue though, I do see the um, price of the industrial craft box going up in value. Um, just a side note as well, at Skin Creator and any skin creators in general, 
The fact that this is called industrial craft box and not like industrial craft large box or wooden box or something like that, it does make it harder to find, um, at least in my opinion. Um, and I do think that that actually does lower demand a little bit, makes it a little bit harder to find. So, you know, you're going to get less sales overall. Um, just keep that in mind as well in the future because um, that gets, I mean, really it gets more sales on the community market than when it does on the Rust on store, but keeps the price of it up on the uh, community market. Not that that really impacts skin creators, but just keep it in mind. Alrighty guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and we'll move over to the cart. Alrighty guys, this is my cart for this week. Not really investing. I'm just getting two of the comics hoodies, two of the comics pants, one of the desert stone sleeping bags, one of the tempered small wooden boxes for myself. And all you guys have to do is comment down below what your favorite skin is of this week. And if you're looking forward to any other skins coming out um, and you know, hoping that there's some skits looking skin on the workshop that will get released. But that's all you have to do. And I'll um, get a random comment picker to uh, pull out a winner. So that will happen next week's video. Um, but that is going to be for the tempered small wooden box. This card is going to cost me $22.05 overall. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video and remember, have a skits one. Why? 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 To do anymore. Yo, the almighty Baltis in the skin box on the side? I did not know that. That's goaded. Real? Yeah. Actually is. Cool. I didn't know that.